it's okay to quit. It's okay. It is definitely okay. Hey everyone, it's Melissa with the M Word. If you're new here, I'm a homeschooling mom and homemaker, stay at home, slightly work from home. And I have a nine-year-old, a five-year-old, and a three-year-old. Today is a collaboration hosted by Jessica Myros, and it will involve myself, Jessica Myros, and, and Melissa from Buckeye Girls Lifestyle, and apparently my cat as well. Today is a motivational video, and as the thumbnail on this says, I quit, and I did quit, and I want to explain that and what that means because it's not just a click on me, attention-grabbing title because did quit and the reality is is that I have been doing way too much I am homeschooling three kids I am running a bakery I am helping run our local farmers market I do their social media I do the social media for my bakery I do the social media for myself obviously I have you know the clock app and the other immediate app and then there's this obviously, and then I was helping at the farm. I was helping clean my grandma's house. I was, I was doing too much. Oh, and I work part-time at the local bar. So, and my husband is a firefighter and, and an officer and he's gone a lot. So because of all that, I'm typically often solo parenting. And I took until to like two weeks ago for me to realize that I cannot do it all anymore. And this is motivational, I promise, in the end, I will get there. Um, I, I needed to step back and prioritize what was important to me. I mean, this is my YouTube schedule for this month. And I have something every single day of the week, all the way through the month everything that is this is what I have scheduled and most of it is brand stuff so I have to do it I can't just cut out some of it because I can't do it or don't have time to do it that's not how that works I have to do it because it's brand stuff now in uh, September I haven't even started adding brand stuff in there yet because I'm afraid to <laughs> like and I've been saying I've been saying no a lot in August so my July but warm looked just as bad. I used to run from a checklist on my computer, but the more things I added, the harder it was for me to open my computer on a daily basis, trying to remember what video I needed to do next, what video I had already filmed, what video I still needed to edit, what I still needed to post, what I still needed to write. Like it was so much. So when I finally really sat down and realized how overwhelmed I was, I had already stopped going out to help my grandma clean because I was so overwhelmed and I never had time to do it. I wasn't out to the farm as much as I used to be. And my own house was seriously falling to shambles. I could not keep up for nothing. And I am constantly messy, missing my own personal deadlines here on YouTube as well. I am hitting my deadlines for my, um, hitting the deadlines that I have for brand deals and stuff like that, but I am not hitting my personal deadlines that puts videos out when I actually want them out. I'm hitting them like at the nose of when they're due and I'm missing so many collaborations because the collaborations are going out the window because they're not, they're not required of me and I don't have the capacity to add them. So I sat down and I made some decisions. So for my bakery, I closed it entirely, like just shut it down. My last my last set of things went out last Saturday and I am done. I am, I'm out of tins. I'm out of, like I used what I had left and that was done on Saturday. So that's where I quit. I just psh, done with that. I am not quitting homeschooling. Obviously that is way too important to me because that was one of the options that we pulled out on the table when we decided how to prioritize what I needed to do and what I didn't need to do. We wanted to know, do I keep all the things I'm doing and send the kids to public school? Or do I start letting some stuff off my plate and prioritize homeschooling like it needs to be prioritized? We went through my schedule, my husband and I, mostly me, and then I just let him look over and be like, hey, yep, okay. And honestly, he could have cared less, but it makes me feel better to know that he's on board with my new plan. And so I went through that. I also took some stuff like I had piled a lot of like his random house stuff on my plate as well like mowing 
Um, he doesn't do a lot of the housework just because I'm home, but like making the bed and stuff when he gets up after me, um, I was just doing it because he was leaving right away and he was working multiple like 96 hour days or more depending on what was going on. And yes, that is three days. He's a firefighter. Um, and it was just, I was taking a lot of mowing, the trimming, fixing stuff around the house that broke. Like I took a lot, a lot of that. And I did sit down with him and I was like, Hey, you need to take most of this back. Cause I don't have the capacity to keep doing it. The mowing, the trimming, the general household maintenance that, that needs to go back on you. And then I need you to do these things around the house as well. And he was all for that. He didn't even realize how much I had taken on for him to continue going to school and, um, trainings and certificates and all the things he was doing for officer work and for um, the fire department. And he's like, yeah, I can, I'm home more now again, and I can definitely take that back on my plate. So then I went through and I also went through all my brand deals. I decided which ones I was keeping, which ones I was dropping and how I was going to move forward from there because I can't do them all. Um, I only take on things I like anyways. I have reached out to many companies that I like and use personally just to, you know, be like, hey, you want to work with me because I really love your stuff. And all happy dandy that is, um, a lot of them said yes when I first started reaching out. I probably reached out to way more than I would have said yes to um, solely because I assumed most of them would say no. And to my shocking surprise, most of them said yes. And since I love them and I want to work with them anyways, because I don't want to tell you things that I don't like, um, I put a lot on my plate. <laughs> So I've been saying no to different things. A lot of people who messaged me and were like, hey, use this random thing. I don't know what it is. I was already saying no to them, but that's besides the point. A few more, I, they would send it to me and I would go look and see like, hey, do I like that? Do I not like that? Do I want to try it? Is it okay if I use my honest review? A lot of them the last few months, I've been saying no to right off the bat versus even looking into it. Um, but I think I can slowly start adding a little bit of that back to my plate now that I've taken the bakery and shut it down completely. I have put prioritized in my schedule through the week, going out and helping my grandma and being on the farm at least once a week. And then I have reprioritized the schooling the rest of the week. And then I also went ahead and double checked with the girl that has been occasionally watching my kids on like once a month. She's been a lifesaver when I realized how overwhelmed I was that I needed just eight hours. And it's really saved me having a quiet home when my husband's been gone a ton to try to get done some of these videos that I have on my schedule that need to be done. But I am pulling back. So what that's gonna look like now is gonna be two to three videos a week once, once I get through all the things I'm already prioritized and uh, committed to. Um, that's gonna be two to three videos a week, the way it was supposed to be from the beginning and the way it will be going forward. Um, on the clock app, I post three days, three three times a day. That just works best there. I had not been prioritizing that app very much and I am pushing more to work on that one a little bit more. I also am doing a lot of the uh, instant app where that's been being done uh, I, I don't know. I just kind of post updates there. That probably isn't your go-to if you want to see my life and everyday updates stuff. That's just more of a, Hey, if you missed something on YouTube or Hey, if you missed something on the clock app, but the um, here on YouTube, you're going to get homeschooling, homeschooling reviews, the occasional day in the lives, the occasional motivational videos. Hopefully this is a little motivational. I feel like it's a lot of like, ah, um, but my point is, is it's okay to quit. It's okay to reprioritize what's important to you. It's okay. I did not quit the farmer's market. I am still working for my local farmer's market and I'm doing stuff for them, but I am no longer going to any farmer's market as a vendor. I was doing two of those and it's too much. I also mostly quit working at the bar as well. Um, the local bar, I was trying to build up to like two or three days a week because I really wanted the extra cash. But the reality is, is I don't have time. And my priority is not to work more for them. It's to work more for me. 
So, and to be home from my kids. Like if I'm working there, my kids have to go to daycare or to my mom's, which is also a daycare that I pay for when it's, when I'm working there and it's overnight. It also helps me prioritize the farmer's market in ways that I wanted to help more, like in some of the youth programs that I wanted to help with and in some of the social media content that I wanted to push forward for them that I just haven't had the capacity to do. And it's helping me reprioritize. I'm probably not any less busy, let's be honest. Um, but it's allowing me to be more intentional and do a better job at the things that are important to me than constantly being thrown everywhere and so thin that nothing is at a standard that I even like it. And it's, I'm not prioritizing enough. The whole reason I stay at home is to be with my kids. I, I want to enjoy that time with my kids and I can't do that, obviously, if I'm spread so thin that I'm having a video go up every day of the week in August. Like, that's crazy. Um, so that is my motivation. It's okay to quit. It's okay. It is definitely okay to quit. It is okay to reprioritize. It's okay to reevaluate. It's, it's okay. You're allowed to do those things. You're allowed to say, nope, that's not for me anymore. I spent my time and energy there, but I'm done now. It's okay. It's okay to move on to something else. If you have any questions for me, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to go check out Jessica Myros and the Buckeye Girls lifestyle videos. They're going to have some great motivation as well. And I will talk to you later.